Hi everyone. So I'm just gonna take my mask off here because I'm done for the day. Um, so the salon is empty other than myself and Cody. He is more than uh, six feet away from me. He's on the other side of the salon right now. Um, so I get to drink my coffee and talk to you guys. So that's something that we don't get to do anymore. Um, while doing hair. So it's uh, a coffeeless day often where I was used to drinking many coffees during the day. So it's actually not such a bad thing. So um, on YouTube, the videos that I do every day or, or as often as I can now are called the pandemic files. So you can find those on YouTube under Salon Bliss. If you would like to see them there, it's a little easier than scrolling through my file to see all my live videos. So today, um, I wanna talk about a couple of things that I've noticed. So for one, um, we hand sanitize and wash our hands all the time. And I have hand sanitizer on my uh, trolley while doing hair. So if I touch anything, I hand sanitize first, then I go grab product, um, you know, constantly hand sanitizing. So I do want to share with you guys something that has happened to me because of doing that. So my hands are actually quite fine. They're a little dry, but I've noticed that I often, when I'm looking at somebody's hair, I'll put my hand in my hair and I didn't realize that I had this habit. So I put my hand in my hair right here often and I have breakage in my hair that is quite dramatic in that area. So luckily I have a mullet and I'll be able to get it cut and it will look better again. However, I just wanted to let everybody know that that's a thing. Uh, hand sanitizer has a high level of alcohol in it and then putting it in hair that's already been colored and touching your hair, which again, I do more often than I even realized, um, is going to dry out your hair and possibly break it off. So in my situation, um, yeah, see how long this hair is and then you go to this portion of my hair and it is all broken. So um, be careful, maybe pay attention to how much you're touching your hair when using hand sanitizer. So that was the first thing that I wanted to talk about um, and be a little cautious of that. It was, you know, kind of troubling to me, all this hair was breaking off and I know my stuff when it comes to hair, so I couldn't figure out what was doing it, and today I figured it out. So, um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm so excited you're watching. Thank you. Um, as some of you know, I turned 40 on Saturday, and um, I feel great and excited. And I love 40 so far. So I was spoiled rotten um, by my team here at Salon Bliss who is amazing and made me feel so special and made me cry a little bit from emotional stuff they wrote in their cards and decorated and all that. So I'm very spoiled at home and here. Um, the other thing that I would like to talk about, I'm just referring to my notes because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is um, whether you come to Salon Bliss or another hair salon, um, the rules are all changed. And yes, we are at the higher end of um, having, um, I guess it's systems in place to make sure everything's disinfected and you know people are in our chairs and they're uh, six feet apart and all those things. So um, we have timing um, between our clients. So then we can disinfect the area fully, make sure that uh, whatever cleaning product uh, that we use, there's a time on the bottle that the product must be used for three minutes or one minute. Um, 
or five minutes. So the product that we use is actually one minute uh, and we wipe down the chairs and the handles and everything. Um, but that requires that we have a minimum of 15 minutes between each appointment in order to get ready for the other person coming in next that also has an appointment booked. So please, please make sure that you're on time for your hair appointments. Here, if you're 15 minutes late, we cannot take you. Um, we've only had that happen once where we couldn't take the person that showed up 15 minutes beforehand. They didn't uh, think to call or text us uh, to let us know. Um, then we could text the next client possibly and see if they could come in a little bit later, but I had to reschedule that client. And um, you know, it's different. We would just normally make it happen somehow, but it isn't fair to the next client regardless. So I work really hard at being better at my timing now. That is something positive coming from COVID for me. Um, so people know how long they're gonna be in my chair. Uh, last minute decisions of adding a treatment or a toner or anything like that um, is harder to do. So we do have to schedule another appointment unless you have already scheduled or let us know ahead of time. So things are different, but it's okay as long as you know what we're working with. So we've had four people just plain not show up for their appointment, not call, not text. So please be aware that stylists, we don't make any money if people don't show up for their hair appointment. And because of COVID, many places, including us, have waived the fee for cancellations or no-shows, which I need all of you to be aware of because that is, you know, if we had have known, we could have replaced it with somebody else. And now for all hair salons, finances are so tight that we are still trying to offer the same services for the same amount of money that we were charging previous to COVID um, and obviously we were doing much more, which I am more than happy to do and I love my job. I um, do it for the people. I know this is the time in our lives that people need us the most. I feel like I'm contributing to the world, which is the point of me existing, I feel. Um, so, you know, please help to um, pass on this message as well because uh, it, it's really devastating when somebody doesn't show up for their appointments and we cannot afford it. Like, you know, I'm booked quite far in advance and I will be releasing my October availability soon, but things are tight and each spot needs to be um, booked. The amount of money that I can make in that time will just cover our expenses. So I know all of you really care about your local businesses and your hairstylist, whether it's me or somebody else, please be aware that canceling last minute, unless it's due to an illness or COVID is, well, even still, it's devastating for that hair salon and that stylist. So I just wanted to share those things with you. Now we've had many positives, you know, um, I've experienced, you know, people sharing their lives with me. And uh, I do believe people need to talk and they need that human connection and they need people to pamper them and just, just be, you know, forget about the world for a minute and allow yourself to enjoy your hair appointments. So that um, is what I wanted to share today. I hope that's helpful to all of you, whether you're stylists or clients. Um, yeah, we'll continue to provide you with the best that we possibly can give. And I can't wait to see you all. I will be releasing by the end of day tomorrow my availabilities for October. And I can't wait to see you all. I love you. Bye.